So hello guys, um, the last video we end up here in the definition of the moving load apply to the bridge floor and now we are going to do it. So let me switch to robot, let me go to the geometry layout and add a database to the vehicle loads. I'm going to call it user number two because I guess I have databases created as user this is just a name okay I'm going to give it user defined database and over here I'm going to call it user defined vehicles the length will be meters and here will be kilo newton okay very good I set it as okay and now let's add the loads loads special loads moving over here we're gonna press this button to make a new vehicle and on the symmetric files tab I'm going over here on this new, I'm, go, I'm going to press this new button and I'm going to give it vehicle one. This will be the name, okay? Press okay. And on the load type, I'm going to add for a concentrated force. The F will be 60. The X you may see the X over here it will be the distance from this origin okay yes I'm going to say it's zero and in the S I'm going to ask for 1.75 okay it will be this spacing over here it's that x now let me add a new concentrated load where here will be 30 3.5 and over here 1.75 once again very good the third line i'm going to add a new concentrated force going to add a new concentrated force and now I'm going to ask for a 60 over here yes will be 1575 it's going to be a big vehicle and over here 1.75 very good now I'm going to press the save to database button and I will select the user add and close okay for case number seven we need to vehicle number one we need to fill all of this the case is number seven we have defined six load cases now the name will be moving vehicle okay the root I'm going to define the root as a line and the point P1 will be 0 3 0 this will be the coordinate of that point and over here it will be the coordinate of point P2 the length will be 30 it will be all over the, the slab or the floor of this bridge okay you may see this line created over here that's the root let me close that okay on the step field I'm going to set it as 8 in the low direction I'm going to accept this which means that the load will be operating in the Z direction and its sense will be opposite to the Z axis the application plane I'm going to set is uh, set it as automatic okay 
and now I'm going to apply very good now I'm going to define a moving surface load okay the difference between the vehicle and the surface load is that the vehicle has concentrated forces modeling the load applied by the wheels of that truck okay and now we are going to define a moving surface load. I'm going to press the new button over here. I'm going to press new and I'm going to call it moving surface load. Okay. On the loan type, it will be a surface load. The P will be 2. The X will be 0. The S will be 0. The DX will be for this is the definition of that area of this surface load and over here it will be 1.5 and there you go okay now i'm going to press to save to database i'm going to save to the user database previously defined and i'm going to set this as add and close that moving surface load will be case number Eight. I'm going to call it moving surface load. The root will be different. I'm going to set it as a line and the points will be 0, 1.5, 0 and over here will be 31.5, 0. Apply. Now you may see a different line over here it is this one the green one is related to the vehicle that you previously defined okay i'm going to close that the step i'm going to set it as eight this load will have eight steps i'm going to set the automatic option in the application plane and i'm going to apply and close okay so, uh, in the next video, we will take care of the structural analysis. So, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe.